Okay, so let's take a look at this problem here, and we're going to be using completing the square to solve this equation. So I would say a good amount of people, the majority of algebra students, uh, find this difficult. Now, it doesn't mean uh, they can't do it. It's just a lot of steps involved. It's easy to make a mistake. So if you are learning completing the square and you find it a little challenging, don't worry. You're probably in good company. But um, the whole idea with this particular video is just to review um, a basic problem and kind of review some of the main ideas, the main steps here. But you're going to want to practice uh, completing the square far beyond uh, this just one uh, particular problem. That's the thing in math. You don't want to get overconfident because you could do one problem. You think you can do, you know, all problems. That's why you have to do all your homework and all your practice exercises to build up that skill set. But we're going to get into specifically how to complete the square. Now, I'm uh, interested before we get going. How many, uh, how many of you out there actually think you can do this problem by completing the square? So put that in the comment section if you think, yeah, I can do that. And if that is the case, I would say go ahead and pause the video and work this problem out. Put your answers in the comment section. Kind of compare them um, with other folks who want to do that. But I'm going to get into exactly how we complete the square in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, very briefly, uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're having a tough time in any kind of middle school, high school, or even some college level math courses, I can help you out. If you're taking any exam, any test that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or ALEX exam, uh, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, um, uh, hopefully I didn't repeat any, <laughs> some of those exams. There's literally hundreds of, exams out, hundreds of uh, exams out there that people have to take that have a math section. I could help you prepare and pass uh, those particular exams. If you homeschool, I have a great homeschool math curriculum you might be interested in. And if you don't have any math notes, it's important that you do because what are you going to study from? So you can use my notes. I'm going to leave a, a link, a links to my uh, math notes in the description of this video. Hopefully you don't need my math notes because uh, note-taking is one of the secrets to doing outstanding in mathematics. I've been teaching math for decades. If you're not taking great math notes, you're doing yourself a tremendous disservice okay, in terms of learning mathematics. But uh, anyways, uh, of course, the link to my math help program on all my notes will be in the description of this video. Let's get into this problem. Okay, so again, if you think you could do this, you want to go ahead and try this, use this as a little quiz, I think that would be a good use of this video. But let's first of all uh, talk about what does this mean, complete the square. Well, first of all, we have to look at this equation, okay? What kind of equation is this? Now, if you want to put that in a comment section, of course, I'm encouraging you to kind of actively participate. But what are we talking about here, okay? What kind of equation is this? Well, hopefully you said this is a quadratic equation. And if you said that, then that's excellent, okay? Because that is the first step to solving any equation in algebra is to recognize what type of equation we're dealing with. Okay, there's all sorts of different types of equations. So this is a quadratic equation and uh, completing the square is a technique to solve a quadratic equation. Now let's just go down here very, very uh, briefly and talk about quadratic equations in general. So what do we know about them? Well, uh, of course, uh, if you understand uh, that you are looking at a quadratic equation, the first thing that you really want to keep in mind is there's always two solutions to these quadratic equations. Now, there's various techniques to solve them. Sometimes we can take the square root of both sides, which is a good technique, but we can't do this with every single problem. Um, so, you know, when you can do this, you want to do this. Sometimes you can factor, okay, this is also an excellent technique, but you can't factor all problems. There's going to be problems that you cannot factor, then these problems where you can't take the square root of both sides or factor, you can always use the quadratic formula, okay, to solve anything, okay? So you can always uh, fall back on the quadratic formula. And then we have this thing over here called completing the square. And the completing the square is what we're going to be doing in this particular problem. This is not really a, a practical technique in terms of solving quadratic equations. It's kind of like the long way of doing the quadratic formula. However, it's important that you understand how to complete the square because it has very um, 
a lot of benefits okay, in terms of being able to write things as a square. So what are we talking about uh, completing the square? What does that even mean? Well, we're going to take a, um, a problem, okay, and we want to write it as a square, okay? And in this particular um, situation, we're going to write uh, like our variable portions over here squared, and then we're going to have a number uh, squared. So now we have something uh, over here squared and something over here squared, and then we will be able to solve this quadratic equation, okay, or any particular quadratic equation by taking the square root of both sides. So again, uh, completing the square is something you need to know, and it can get uh, fairly involved in terms of its steps, but we're going to just do this one uh, simple example just to kind of review this. Again, you're going to want to practice more challenging problems beyond this. Uh, so quick suggestion, if you are in algebra, any kind of algebra uh, course, algebra two, college algebra, maybe even pre-calculus or algebra one, you could check out my, um, all my courses will, um, all my algebra courses with the exception of pre-algebra, I will be teaching uh, completing square, right? Complete, or sorry, I teach completing square very thoroughly. Uh, and there's a lot of different uh, additional practice problems there, so you can check that out. But let's get into this problem now. Okay, so one of the quick uh, comment here. My videos, when I make a video and I post it on YouTube, I'm just gonna, I'm not going to sit here and just show you the solution real quick. Da, 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 da. Here, here's the answer. I'm trying to teach you something. So, you know, if you, you know, this is really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give you the big picture uh, so you can handle any kind of problem. So it's not, it's you know, just to show you the answer real quick. Da 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 is not enough. Okay, I've been teaching for a long, long time, and this is what I'm trying to do is close the gaps between any misunderstanding. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this particular problem. All right, so let's get to it. Here is our problem. We want to solve this particular equation by completing the square. Of course, we can solve this in other techniques. We're just going to practice completing the square with this particular problem. Okay, so you're saying, well, you could solve this uh, this way or that way. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, again, we're just going to go practice this procedure completing the square. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we got to make sure that our problem here, our trinomial, is in standard form. So if it's not in standard form, can't do anything until it's standard form, okay? So we got to do that first. Now, you also want to make sure that you have a uh, 1 in front of this x squared, okay? So if you have a coefficient here, like 9x squared, we're going to have to address that. In this particular problem, we don't have to do anything, but in more challenging problems, you're going to have to uh, take an additional step. Again, this is kind of a first-level problem with completing the square, okay? So, um, all right, so here we have a 1x squared, okay? This is in standard form. We have a 1 in front of that x squared coefficient. So what is the first step we're going to do? Well, what we're going to do, I'm going to erase all of this so we can focus in. Once we have these conditions met, we're going to take our number, whatever it is, and move it to the other side of the equation. So by doing that, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. I have a negative 8 over here. Okay, so now let's get into the next step. And you can see I have all this work written out. So the next step is you're going to take this middle term, whatever's in front of the x. We're going to take that and we're going to divide it by 2. Okay, we're going to divide it by 2. Always by 2. We're going to take it and and um, and divide whatever this value is by 2. So that is going to be negative 9 divided by 2, and we're going to square it. Okay, so whatever this value is here, we'll take it and divide it by 2 and square it. And then uh, we're going to write that right next to this 9x. Okay, so you can see here I have x squared minus 9x plus whatever this was divided by 2 squared. But remember in algebra, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do, I got to add this to the other side of the equation. So I'm adding this to both sides of the equation. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and simplify this negative 9 uh, halves squared. So that's going to be um, negative 9 halves times negative 9 halves. So of course, it's going to be 81 over 4. So that's 81 over 4. So now I'm going to, I'm going to start simplifying this. But at this stage in the game, okay, right here, we have a nice perfect squared. I'll show you this here in a second, but let's go ahead and clean up this fraction part right here. And that's what you're going to have to do. So I have negative 8 plus 81 over 4. Hopefully, you know how to add fractions that involve a negative number or just add fractions and subtract fractions in general. If you are lost and you need to review uh, fractions, I have tons of videos on fractions in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel. 
so how to add fractions, find LCD, etc. But hopefully you know that negative 8 plus 81 over 4, you do this work off to the side and you come up with 49 over 4. Okay, so when I add these two fractions, I get 49 over 4. So here is the state of the problem. Okay, now the whole idea, complete the square, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to complete the square. But what does that mean, the square? Well, it means that this right here, when we took this um, step, when we divided that middle term, divided by 2 and squared it, we uh, actually created a square. Okay, and of course, this had to be a 1x squared situation, meaning that this is factorable into this, x minus 9 halves squared. So it's always going to be whatever this value was before you squared it. Okay, so let's go back over here. It's always going to be this, okay, uh, with the x. Okay, it's x squared. So you just look at the patterns. You don't need to think about this too much. So we're, we have negative 9 halves squared. So when you uh, factor this, the pattern is always going to be the same. It's going to be x, and then right here, it's going to be the square root of these. Let's just say that, right? Okay, so it's going to be x minus 9 halves squared. Okay, of course, this is uh, a subtraction uh, sign right there, a negative sign. So, again, this is why you have to practice this technique. Okay, so this is awesome because this is a square, and then this right here is just a number. So now I can solve this quadratic equation by taking the square root of both sides, okay? But I couldn't do that until I set up a situation where I had a square or I could take the square root of both sides. So again, you know, you don't want to um, get into completing the square until you've mastered those other techniques uh, and uh, when you're studying quadratic equation. In other words, the more basic problems with taking the square root of both sides, factoring, quadratic formula, typically the completing the squares is... Uh, one of the last sections you learn, okay, uh, 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 in a quadratic equations chapter, for example, right? So don't, if you're learning first, starting to learn quadratic equations, don't start with this. Okay, so now let's get to uh, the rest of the problem here. Okay, so to solve this now, I can go ahead and take the square root of both sides. You see, I'm doing this right here. And when I take the square root of both sides, what am I going to be left with? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. The square root of x minus 9 squared is just going to be x minus 9, okay? And then the square root of 49 over 4, when I take the square root of a positive uh, real number, remember, it's going to be positive and negative 7 over uh, 2, 7 halves, okay? So hopefully, you know, you're okay with this. And if, if there's anything in here that you're not sure about, like, oh, you know, you weren't quite sure how to take the square root of this number, follow through, uh, you know, make a mental note and follow through. I have tons of uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Of course, I teach all this in all of my uh, math courses as well. All right, so here is where we're at. And we're almost there in terms of getting the solution. You see I have it all set up here. So I want to get um, x. I know I have two solutions, but let's just solve for x here. We'll add 9 halves to both sides. So x is going to be equal to 9 halves plus and minus uh, 7 halves. So what does that mean, this plus and minus? Well, it's very, very important. In algebra, so it means that one solution is going to be 9 halves plus 7 halves. Okay, remember, this is saying that we have to take 9 halves and add it to 7 halves, and then we also have to take 9 halves and subtract it for seven ha uh, from 7 halves to get our second solution. So 9 halves minus uh, 7 halves. This will be our second solution. Again, there's always two solutions in a quadratic uh, equation. And then here, we can just go ahead and follow the basic fractions here, uh, 9 halves plus 7 halves, 9 plus 7 is 16 over 2, that is 8, so this is one solution, and then here, 9 halves minus 7 halves, uh, 9 minus 7 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1, and here is our second solution, 8 and 1. Now, of course, there's other techniques we could have used to solve this, but again, this is just a basic warm-up problem to uh, learn uh, completing the square. There can be much, much more challenging uh, problems with completing the square. Um, and you can see that, you know, there's even with this simple uh, problem, there's a fair amount of steps and concentration required. That's why I said, you know, oftentimes like 75% of students find this difficult because there is a lot of steps and it's easy to make a mistake. But if you got this problem right, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I got this right. Then I must give you a nice happy face, a good old 1984 Mohawk with an A plus and a few stars. And for those of you that uh, don't know what I'm talking about, 
with these uh, crazy hairstyles. We were pretty cool in the 80s. Uh, and I'm glad that I don't see these haircuts around too much. Maybe I just don't get out enough. But we used a lot of hairspray. Okay, It was probably not that safe to have that much hairspray in our hair. But that's what we did. Anyways, uh, you're awesome. If you got this right, outstanding. Okay, Now, if you didn't get this right but still learned something, well, then that's excellent as well. That's the whole point of these videos, not to make you feel bad, is to teach you something or maybe confirm uh, what you think you may already know. However, okay, even if you got this uh, correct, this is a pretty easy problem when it comes to completing the square. You want to uh, challenge yourself with more um, you know, difficult problems. Again, you can find those in my math courses. But if this video was helpful to some small, tiny degree, please consider smashing that like button that definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of all the content that I've posted on my channel and I will uh, always be uh, posting uh, future content. I will never run out of math prompts to do. So if you like my teaching style, you know, hopefully you'll uh, watch my future content as well. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.